Hey, what's happening? Happening, guys. Uh, first off, I gotta apologize. I've got the hiccups. I've had them all day. Uh, it made teaching two classes a lot of fun today. Believe me, I got made fun of a lot. And secondly, thank you all for coming to the live stream yesterday. That was a lot of fun. So today, <laughs> I've got this Cronova digital multimeter that was sent to us at no charge for review. Um, this is available on Amazon, not in my store. If it's any good, it will be, though. And it's about $17. You can see everything it comes with here. And we're going to put it through its paces. So first of all, we need to get a battery in it. Guys, I have no clue why I have hiccups today. I apologize greatly. It is embarrassing. This company just contacted me two days ago about this meter. So... They got it out real fast, which is nice. Nice. Man, that battery really doesn't want to sit in there very well. So. Get this back together. Here are the specifications. I'm not going to read them all out to you. You can just pause the video if you want. Okay. Now, first of all, $17 meter is not going to come with great leads. So to give this meter as fair a chance as possible... We will be testing it today with the Probe Master gold plated probe leads. <laughs> Excuse me. And for our resistance tests, we'll be using these nice silicone banana plugs. All right, first up we have DC voltage, AC voltage, resistance diode check along with uh, is there not a complete circuit I can't think of the words a frequency counter AC microamps oh they're both AC and DC okay so microamps milliamps amps and it has an off at either side it claims to be 600 volt cat 3 Okay, we'll see. For our voltage and current source, we'll be using this little board, this precision voltage and current source board, which is precision enough for our home use. And you can see I have voltage set for 2 volts and current set for 5 milliamps. <laughs> Excuse me. It's being powered off of a 12-volt sealed lead-acid battery. That way we don't have to worry about any power supply ripple getting in there and causing us problems. So let's start with voltage. Move that over here. Move this here. And we'll connect up our leads. So at 2.00 volts, we're seeing 2.0, oh, whoopsies, 2.01. 2 now we come down here, 
we can inc increase that. Shoot. Aren't we going to have fun today? Okay. All right, let's take it up to 5 volts. Showing 5.02. 8 volts, 8.04, 10 volts, 10.05. So you see we have a very linear, but again, very small error going on there. Not too bad. All right, now we're going to switch it over to milliamps. And for that, I hook up my green probe. Okay, so we're showing 5 milliamps. We're getting 4.98. It's well, with, well within spec. 7 milliamps, 6.98. 10 milliamps, 9.98. 15 milliamps, 14.98. So the current reading is very steady. So very good. So far, this thing's performing well. Next, we're going to do resist resistance readings. Resistance readings, we're going to use my little precision resistor multi multimeter box that I made. Um, if you want to see how this is made, there's a clip at the end of this video that you can watch. So for this, we're going to take out the probe meter, probe master <laughs> leads. And we're going to pop on some nice banana plug leads. Oh, I cannot believe I have the hiccups. And I've had them all day. All day. All right, so we go to resistance. We'll start with 1K. 9.96. Okay, not too bad. Snap my back box back together. That's funny. And then we'll go to uh, 10K. Now the 10K is set up for four wire, in case you're wondering. 10.01. Very good. Now we'll go to the high end. One meg. And it's unable to read that. Interesting. All right, let's go to the low end. 2.2 2 R. And it reached 2. I mean, definitely well within spec. All right, let's check some capacitance. All right, well, I, w I was going to check capacitance, but... It does not have a setting for capacitance, so we'll skip that. We'll go to diode. Here is a 1N4007. We'll hook it up forward biased. And there we go, we get 0.6 voltage drop. reverse bias it and we get open loop good next up got a red LED 1.8 forward volts very very good next I'll take off the uh, croc clips here and we'll put it in continuity test mode very good. I'll do the Australian kangaroo dance. Very good indeed. All right. Frequency counter. Let me get my frequency counter hooked up. Okay, I've got the arbitrary waveform generator powered up here. We'll hook up to the leads. That's a 10K sine wave at 10 volts. We're getting 9.92. 
Let me turn that amplitude down. Two volts doesn't make any difference. Frequency, let's uh, take it down to 1K. 992, how about if it's a square, square wave? 1K square wave. All right, let's take it up. There's one megahertz, and it seems to be locked. That's probably too much. Whoops. Let's take it down. All right, there's a 60 hertz square wave, 59.5. There's a hundred K. Whoa. hundred K about blew its mind. Did you see that? 200. 300. 400. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There, there's one MIG. So the frequency counter might be a little bit glitchy. But uh, everything else is pretty good. Well, you know what's next. We got to see what's under her skirt. All right, Cat 3, it is not. Uh, we've got one PTC here. Let's zoom in. Yeah, we've got one PTC right here. We've got our two fuses. The main chip is a is a cob, that's a blob. A couple of diodes for reverse protection. Yeah, okay. Oh no, not bad. <laughs> Alright, so where do we stand with this? I like it. It's uh, definitely not high voltage protection, but you know, all these Chinese meters claim to be, you know, it's not UL listed. Conforms to IEC 6110-1. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, the probes that come with it, yeah, I'm not even gonna take them out. They're your standard cheap probes. The lack of a capacitance test bothers me for using this as an electronics lab multimeter. But those are the only features that I can find that I don't like. So again, this is the uh, Cronova MS8233D. I give it a thumbs up. It's a nice little meter for 17 bucks, 200 counts, auto ranging. Yeah, I'll throw it in the store. A nice little, nice little home meter. It's got a nice soft rubber boot, probe holsters. Not bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I apologize again for my hiccups. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.